What's going on? Welcome to Asian Coast Self. You give me the HKO special help that can you hit the like, subscribe, and comment. All right, so let's get into this because, um, you know, uh, Caitlin Clark, and she's about to play in a couple hours from now. But let's talk about, yep, the last game. She is not backing down, and that's great. But, you know, let's uh, take a look here. At the game, uh, a little small footage. So let's uh, do that real quick. Yeah. So let's go. Oh, yep. And here it is. So, yep. Here's the part where this got crazy. So check. <laughs> Victoria Vivian's an old NBA Yeah. Let, let's look at this one more time. Yep. <laughs> She's like, yep. Yeah, ah, ah, ah. So there you go, Caitlin Clark. All right. So let's now get into this uh tap. But you know, here's a here's a thing. I, I didn't even I forgot to, you know, mention this. Yeah, Caitlin Clark has a WNB suspension problem lurking because, you know, Caitlin Clark has officially entered dangerous territory to potentially get suspended by the WNBA for, um, you know, uh, cumulative technical fouls this season. So when Clark got in the face of, you know, Seattle Storm guard Victoria Vivens, the two were hit with double technicals in Indiana on Thursday night. So it's Clark's third technical foul in his first nine games of her WNBA career. And, of course, the WNBA rules stipulate that players that get suspended for a game when they receive their seventh technical foul this season and an additional game for every other technical after that. So, yep. So you saw in the video, and now there they go. Yep, Vivens and Clark. To have that stare down, and that means that Clark can receive no more than three technical fouls in the remaining 31 games of the regular season to stay under the threshold. Wow, okay. So she can't keep getting these technicals. So, yep, well, Clark's had started to find her shooting stroke. The frustrations have mounted as the fevers uh, have started the season one and eight and opposing defense seem to be actively seeking out her outward physical play. Yeah. So, you know, she's, she's been getting banged up, man. She's been getting hit. She's been getting attacked. I mean, geez, you know, but I appreciate Chrissy getting a tech too. Finally, you know, she finally uh, said she, that's the one thing she said she'll get. Let me get the technicals. <laughs> so, yep, she was hit with the tech, and she's like, it's an effing foul. After the play, there was no whistle. So after her second technical foul, Clark drew an anonishment from her head coach. You know, as she said, we're spending too much time talking to officials. We got to leave that alone. We just got to play our game and let them do their job and not put it in their hands. So we shouldn't get technicals. Let me get the technical. So, yep, yeah, frustration on Caitlin Clark. So there you go. And there's the stare down. But, of course, we cannot afford to lose Caitlin Clark for the rest of the season. So, yeah, so that's a no-no. So, yep, and she has a game in a couple hours against the other rookie sensation, Angel Reese. So that's going to be a fun one to do, fun one to watch. So I'm kind of seeing what's going to go down here against the Chicago Sky. And this is the start of the WNBA Commissioner's Cup. So whatever that cup is, it's just basically uh, everyone plays five games in their uh, you know division and the best record plays the Western Division and so on for the Eastern Division. So, I, but I, I'm assuming that Indiana ain't going to be there because they're just, it's really too tough to win all these games. But, yep, the Commissioner Cup starts now. 
All right, so if you enjoyed any of this content, please give me the HKO special help to king out. Hit the like, subscribe, and comment. So wherever you are, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video.